Okay, now I'm going to talk about a very useful uh, free uh, patent uh, database for searching full text known as Free Patents Online uh, or FPO. So if you want to find it, just type in Free Patents Online. And as you can see here, uh, this uh, covers uh, US patent documents, including PDF and images. Uh, we have plant patents, design patents from the US. We have US applications, we have European patent grants and patent applications, we have patent documents from Japan, and we also have the WIPO Patent Cooperation Treaty. Uh, so the coverage is, is very good. Now at first it appears to be not terribly promising, so if we just enter a simple search here in the top, we will uh, just get access to a list and then to the patent document and we can download the patent document and so on but we don't seem to be able to do uh, anything else and in reality this is because uh, we need to um, sign up for an account uh, which is free uh, so that's what I've done here uh, so uh, once you have an account uh, we start to get access to a lot more information including the ability to export our results so on the quick search, uh, we can just enter uh, a whole uh, set of terms, including into the uh, claims, for example, uh, or the description or the title of the abstract. That's extremely uh, useful being able to search, say, for example, the title, the abstract or the claims. Um, down at the bottom here, uh, we can specify the collections to um, search. Uh, the default is US patent, so you will generally need to uh, click these others and uh, exclude the non-patent literature. Uh, then you will need to think about the date range and also whether to have word stemming on or off. Perhaps you'll want to have it um, on. Um, so if we uh, run our search, we now compared with the, uh, without logging in, you can now see that we can uh, select uh, the documents. Uh, we can then uh, either save the search if we have quite a complicated search query. Uh, in this case, we don't. But if we wanted to, we could save the search. Uh, we can then add the check to our own uh, portfolio. Uh, now, I've already done one of these here for pizza. Uh, so the pizza claims related documents will now be added. Um, we could of course go back to our results and keep clicking through and selecting 50 at a time. So now we have a portfolio with pizza documents in them. A little bit frustratingly we have to change this from 5 to 200. That's probably about right. Um, now one point to note here uh, is that the total number of documents that you can save is 10,000 documents and I think there's a limitation on the number you can download at a time of around 2,000 I think. So let's just select those. This is our 86 documents. We'll select them to export. There are no other export uh, options uh, and we should, if I double click on that, open up a quite well formatted uh, data set of our pizza results. So here we have uh, document numbers, those lack a kind code on the US, uh, sorry, a country code on the front of the US. We then have a uh, nicely formatted uh, publication date. And what, we've got the title, we've got the abstract, we've got the inventors, um, applicants, uh, application numbers, filing dates, uh, US classes, I'm guessing that must be, uh, which are now uh, defunct, of course, replaced by the CPC. Uh, then we have other classification codes. Um, I'm slightly struggling to interpret these classification codes, uh, and whether they're simply US classification codes, but that merits a little bit more investigation. But the basic uh, point here is that free patents online is a very uh, helpful um, 
source of patent data for patent analysis. So uh, go and get yourself uh, a free account. Thank you.